shot and killed a 31-year-old woman during an argument over a bowling ball. What's up, everybody? We're back for another reaction video. And if you're here on this reaction channel for the first time, go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead and drop a comment below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell notification so that way you can be aware of the next time I drop my next reaction video. All right. So we're back for another reaction video, y'all. And I, I've been saying this lately, man. Like, everybody, please be careful. Try to be safe out there because it's a lot of individuals. It's a lot of people that's on straight demon time, man. And they don't care nothing about what nobody got going on. They just care about themselves, just being on demon time and just hurting somebody and hurting people in general, man. And it's just sad and it's just disgusting, man. And it's just unfortunate that a lot of people are losing their lives to a lot of individuals just being on straight demon time, man. So. In this reaction, y'all, we gonna be reacting to Young Thug Baby Mama shot dead in a bowling alley over a bowling ball. Like, I, I don't understand this one. Once again, like I said, like, try to be safe out here and you can't even go enjoy yourself with your family and friends at an event or just for some social, you know, some social time with your family and friends. Like, you can't do nothing. Like, People just wildin', man. It's just crazy and unfortunate that a lot of individuals are losing their lives, man. So rest in peace to her, man. You know, but we're gonna go ahead and jump into this reaction to see what's going on, y'all. In Atlanta tonight, police looking for the man who shot and killed a 31-year-old woman during an argument over a bowling ball. Lakivia Jackson was at the Metro Fund Center for her best friend's birthday party. At some point during the evening, there was a fight and then gunfire. CBS 46's Zach Summers spoke with Jackson's mother, Zach. That interview, absolutely heartbreaking. You know, often police talk about conflict resolution. That did not happen here at Metro Fund Center last night. Instead, a young woman lost her life to gun violence. Real quick, y'all. Once again, prayers go out to their family, man, because nobody should have to go through this, you know, especially as a parent, you got to bury your child and it should be the other way around. But as a parent, you being notified that your son or your daughter is going out with some friends to enjoy themselves at a birthday party. And you just pretty much like, okay, enjoy yourself, have enough, you know, have a nice time or whatever. And you're not expecting that you're going to get that call and saying that your child has lost their life due to somebody just acting ignorant, wilding over a bowling ball? Like, is it that serious? So not only one person has lost their life, but another person gonna lose their life. Cause once they catch this person, you going to jail. You straight up going to jail, man. That's why I don't really like going to places where there's just like a lot of people, man. Cause it's always gonna be somebody who just gonna, just gonna mess it up, who just gonna, just on straight demon time. My baby lost her life out of bowling ball. Sharina Jackson's final moment with her daughter, Lakivia, is one no parent should have to endure. I'm so hurt. She helplessly heard her daughter take her last breath over the phone. Oh, I man. couldn't understand what she was saying, and then all I heard was she's not breathing. And wow. then I said, who? And she said, Lakivia, and I lost it then. Lakivia went bowling at Metro Fun Center Thursday night to celebrate her best friend's birthday. Atlanta police say at some point she got into an argument with someone over bowling ball. The 31-year-old was shot and killed not too long after. I just feel like if anybody knew that they were out there waiting on them for 20 minutes, some could have been done. This is truly an atrocity. Right now, investigators are combing through surveillance video. APD commander Ralph Wolfolk says several witnesses are also cooperating. Crazy, man. You will find the person that's responsible. You know who you are. Go ahead and turn yourself in. We assure you that we will bring you into custody. I hope so. I hope so. As for Lakivia's mom, pain and grief now fills the void left behind wow. by her daughter's senseless death. Call so 
from what the mother sounded like she said, I don't know if this escalated outside in the parking lot, still over a bowling ball, like she said. The situation is that serious over a bowling ball, you're going to wait for somebody in the parking lot, allegedly, if that's what happened. You know what I mean? I ain't never heard of that. Like, usually the situation is much more bigger, and the situation has occurred outside of the bowling alley. And if you see somebody in the bowling alley, now you got problems. Like, what, what, what you mad? Like, yo, that's my 14-pound ball. That's my 9-pound ball. Nah, I get, like, I got it first. Like, this, this is crazy, man. Straight up demon time, man. Y'all got to be safe out there, for real. How fills the void left behind by her daughter's senseless death? Just call me just to hear my voice. I'm going to miss that. Lakevia Jackson has a teen son with rapper Young Thug. We're told by the grandmother the son is with the father tonight. As for the suspected gunman, APD not releasing uh, that information. But again, they say they are confident this investigation will not drag on. We're live in Southwest Atlanta. Zach Summers, CBS 46 News. All right, y'all, we back, man. Like I was saying, it's, it's just unfortunate that you get the call that that your child was not coming home and you were expecting to, to see them the next day and so on and so forth. But over a bowling ball, man, like, I, I, I don't know, man, you know, there had to be, you know, quite a few individuals that was there that seen something, man, so who knows, maybe it'll eventually come out in the end or whatever, but, this, this, this is just, this is crazy, man. It's ludicrous to, to be honest, but to be honest, it's, it's not crazy because this is the type of time people are on. People don't care about nothing, especially if they ain't got no money right now for whatever reason, they stress, they, 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 they mentally broken. And they just don't care about themselves and nobody else around them. So they just going to do whatever they're going to do. Hurt anybody to any extent, man. And, and it's just tragic and it's terrible. And it's sad, man. So once again, you know, prayers go out to their family, man. Because, man, they were a bowling ball. Man, I don't know, y'all. But check it. That's all I got for y'all on this reaction, man. So... If you're here on this reaction channel for the first time, go ahead and drop a like on this reaction video. Go ahead and drop your comments. Let me know what you thought about this reaction video. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you can be aware the next time I drop my next reaction video. So all my new ones and my day ones, y'all know the vibe. Boom.